Hello, Disney Guard Toys here, and today I'm going to show you the Play-Doh Plus Cupcake Tower. This set comes with two cans of Play-Doh Plus and three cans of regular Play-Doh, a cupcake stand with a lot of molds, and a Play-Doh extruder on top for the frosting. It also comes with utensils, three plates, and a cupcake mold. Well, let's start making some cupcakes. I'm going to fill up the cupcake mold with some brown Play-Doh to look like a chocolate cupcake. The extra Play-Doh comes out through the top and then also the bottom, so just remove that and take out your cupcake. This looks really nice. I like the folds on the cupcake that make it look like it has a cupcake wrapper. Next, we're going to use a soft and sticky Play-Doh Plus as frosting. Just remove the lid to the Play-Doh extruder and stuff this Play-Doh frosting in. Come on, Play-Doh Plus, get in there. Boy, this isn't very graceful. And now let's frost the cupcake. Whoa, looking good. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no, no, get on the cupcake. Oh! Okay, let's try that again. Now this time it's looking better. There we go, it's on the cupcake. Yay, that's all I want. Now let's get this cupcake on a plate so we can decorate it. I'm going to make Play-Doh candies to put on top of my cupcake using all these molds. To make the Play-Doh candies, just use regular Play-Doh. You can use Play-Doh Plus, but it's easier with regular Play-Doh because Play-Doh Plus is a little sticky and it sticks into the molds. Here's a silly little cow candy for our cupcake. Let's make another shape. Here's a heart. And of course we've got to make ourselves a cute little teddy bear. Aww, adorable. And our last candy is a giraffe. Well, we're done with this cupcake, let's make another one. The next cupcake I'm gonna make is going to be pretty unique. I'm going to do a cotton candy flavored cupcake with pink and blue Play-Doh. I've never seen a cotton candy flavored cupcake before, so I figured, hey, why not make one? You can use the Play-Doh knife that came with the set to cut off the extra Play-Doh at the bottom. One cool feature with this set is you can remove the Play-Doh extruder from the cupcake tower. And then you can frost your cupcake outside of the tower. On top of my cupcake, I'm going to use a French vanilla frosting. I think it's a little bit easier frosting your cupcake outside of the tower like this. Next, we're going to decorate the cupcake using a lot of seashell candy pieces. I'm going to add a lot of these seashell candy pieces to the side of the cupcake to decorate it as a beach theme. And of course I'll put a shell on top of the frosting too. One thing you can do is use the cupcake mold to make your frosting. So just fill the bottom with brown play-doh and the top with blue play-doh to make it look like it has a thin layer of blue frosting on top. Now this cupcake I'm going to make extra special. I rolled out with my fingers a cylinder which we're going to use as a candle. Let's add some yellow Play-Doh on top for the flame. And now we have a birthday cupcake. Now the last thing you can do is on the bottom of the cupcake tower, there are molds for cookies. I'm going to make a little ring cookie. Now I ran out of plates, so I'm just going to use a Play-Doh can lid. And next I'm going to make a Play-Doh bow to decorate our cookie. And just put the bow on top of the ring cookie. Wow, it looks like a Christmas wreath. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Here's everything that we made with our Play-Doh Plus Cupcake Tower today. Click on a picture to watch another fun toy video. And don't forget to subscribe and like. Thanks for watching and have a great day.